Hi everyone, let's talk about the fact that 561 is a Carmichael number. Recall Fermat's little theorem. This famous result from modular arithmetic says that a to the power of p minus 1 is congruent to 1 mod p if p is a prime and a is an integer such that gcd of a and p is equal to 1. In other words, p doesn't divide a. The converse is not true. because what it turns out to be true is that there exists infinite infinitely many composite n greater than or equal to two well I guess four but we can just say greater than or equal to two such that for all b in the integers such that gcd of b and n is equal to 1 the following congruence holds b to the power of n minus 1 is congruent to 1 mod n and if this is true for all such b then n is called a Carmichael number. And there are infinitely many of these, though the proof is quite difficult. What we'll be occupied in proving here is the proposition that 561 is Carmichael. So first of all, let's observe the prime factorization of 561. It's equal to 3 times 11 times 17. So not too bad. It's just a product of 3 primes. So suppose b is an integer such that gcd of b and 561 is equal to 1 then that means 3 doesn't divide 5 sorry doesn't divide b 11 doesn't divide b and 17 doesn't divide b so by fermat's little theorem we find that b square is congruent to 1 mod 3 b to the power of 10 is congruent to 1 mod 11 and b to the power of 16 is congruent to 1 mod 17. Notice that 2 is 1 less than 3, 10 is 1 less than 11, and 16 is 1 less than 17. Now the lowest common multiple of 2, 10, and 16 is equal to 80, so we can just raise these to higher powers and find that b to the power of 80 is congruent to 1 mod 3, 11, and 17. And since these are pairwise coprime, we find that b to the power of 80 is congruent to 1 mod 561. We just multiplied these all together. And as a final step, we just take this to the power of 7, and we find that b to the power of 80 to the power of 7 is congruent to b to the power of 560 is congruent to, to 1 mod 561, and then we're done. Now, you might be wondering, like how do we how do we prove in general that a number is a Carmichael number? 
and there is there is a general criterion. It's called Coruscant's criterion. Per maybe it should be called Coruscant's criteria because there's three criteria. So it says that n is a Carmichael number. So n being a positive integer. If and only if the following three criteria hold. First of all, n is composite. Secondly, n is square free. So that means that it's a product of distinct primes. No, no square of a prime divides the number, basically. And finally, for each prime factor, let's call it P of n, P minus 1 divides n minus 1. So let's check let's check this for 561 which is equal to 3 times 11 times 17. It's certainly composite. It's square free and we can check that 2 10 and 16 all divide 560. So the third criteria cr criterion holds as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.